Right, sadly, we lost four. We've got eight left. And this is a frightening round, this one. It's the Dirty Dozen. I give you six clues. If you get them on the first clue, you get six points and five before and so on. However, negative points for wrong answers to the value. So if you guess in at six, you lose six points. Good luck to you all. Fingers on buzzers. Which patronomic surname is shared by, for six points, the second most quoted English writer? Eight. Mark Kerr. Johnson. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> Well, you, work, you worked out it was Shakespeare first, but then... That had to be something you didn't it, yeah. Super. I mean, I was going to go through The Rock and Irving F.A., the singer of ACDC, fastest man over 300 metres. Well, it was Johnson. They all shared the same name. Just, uh, they leave you breathless, don't they? Number two. Which film director, producer and writers, for six points directorial debut was 1987's Adventures in Babysitting. <laughs> you lose six points, of course. For five points, other films include Rent. For four points, Home Alones and... Six. Kevin Nashman. Chris Columbus. It was Chris Columbus. You attempted oh, to go was. for it. I thought it was on six, but I wasn't... I could see, I could see you knew it, and rent didn't help, did it? Yes. But uh, Home Alone's Mrs. Doubtfire, Chris Columbus, well done. Three, which generally archaic scientific instrument, for six points, consists of a hollow disc called the mater, mother, which is deep enough to hold one or more flat plates called tympans or climates made for a specific latitude, for five points... Above the mater and tympan is the reet, R-E-T-E, -E, a framework bearing a projection of the ecliptic plane and several pointers indicate... Ten. Diane Halligan. Sextant. No. Sad. Sorry, you lose five points here, but worth a guess. One. Judith Searle. Binnacle. Binnacle. No. I'm sorry, Judith. Again, you have to lose five points. Five. Darren Martin. Compass. Not compass. Yeah, I'm sad there. Darren, I'm afraid you lose five points. And several pointers indicating the position of the brightest stars is free to rotate. Three. Rob Hanna. An orrery? Not an orrery. <laughs> oh dear. Bad luck, Rob. That's a good guess again. For four points, the Museum of the History of Science, Oxford holds the world's most complete collection with 136. Seven, Pat Gibson. Plan emitters. No. Three points. Its many uses included determining local time, given local longitude and vice versa, surveying and triangulation. For two points, locating and predicting the positions of the sun, moon, planets and stars. Don't worry, Rob, I promise you. <laughs> it's not that bad. One, name this historical astronomical instrument used by classical astronomers, navigators and astrologers. Six, Kevin Ashman. Astrolabe. It is an astrolabe. Yes, sir, so did I. That was I all that for one <coughs> point. <coughs> well done. Question number four. Which country? Slightly easier. For six points, is located between the Hondo and Sarstoon rivers. For five points, is a member of the Commonwealth with a population of 298,000. For four points, is the only officially speaking English country. Six, Kevin Ashman. Guyana. Not Guyana. Three, Rob Hanna. Belize. Correct. Well done. Well done. Back in there, Rob. Number five. Which animal, for six points, quite probably the inspiration for the Catobolas, a legendary creature from Ethiopia, described first by Pliny the Elder? 
Five has two varieties. Black, sometimes called white-tailed. One, Judith Searle. Rhinoceros. Yeah. Not rhinoceros, but worth a good guess. Unfortunately, it mm -hmm. did cost you five points. Black, sometimes called white-tailed, and the blue, or brindled, for four points, is an antelope of the genus Conococactus. For three points, growing around 1.3 metres at the shoulder and weighing some 200 kilograms. Two, inhabiting the plains and open woodlands of Africa, especially the Serengeti. Seven, Pat Gibson. Wildebeest or GNU. Brilliant. Well done, indeed. Well inspired. <clears throat> you know, whenever I see the word antelope in a quiz, I always think they're stuck, particularly when they're uh, in crosswords, because antelope, there's like thousands of them. Covers a host of things, and to come up with GNU and wildebeest, well done indeed, Pat. Six, question six. Which 65-year-old rock musician, for six points, wrote Kill Your Sons, referring to when he received an electroconvulsive therapy in his teen years in, res in response to his homosexual behaviour? For five points, was born in Brooklyn to a Jewish family. For four points, neglecting songs about skipping and cute puppies, his preferred subjects were more inclined to include drugs, prostitution, trans... Eight, Mark Kerr. Lou Reed. Lou Reed. Well done. Well done. Four points, Mark. Well done. Number seven, who's, for six points, career as a football player began at second division Huddersfield Town in 1956. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're tempted, they're tempted. For five points, followed this by Manchester City. Eight, Mark Kerr. Dennis Law. It was. You knew straight off, didn't you? I even knew. Yeah. You knew. <laughs> Shankly signed in. Five. Number eight. Which name is originally the Greek name for fennel? And for five points, usefully, is shared by towns in Florida, Texas, New York and Wisconsin. For four points... All named after the original Greek settlement, some 42 kilometres from Athens. For three points, fingers on buzzers, has been applied to a combination of chocolate, peanuts and nougat. Seven, Pat Gibson. Marathon. Indeed, <laughs> marathon. <laughs> For three points, three points of seven. I, I love the idea that, of course, you know that there are marathons in Florida, Texas, New York, and Wisconsin, as you do. Number nine. Who is, for six points, on November the 22nd, 2007, at least, was the first person mentioned by name in the Wikipedia entry concerning celebrity? Number five. Number 85 on the BBC's Greatest Britons and number 84 on Channel 4's Worst. For four points, the films Casino Royale, Superman Returns, and Around the World in 80 Days all feature cameo appearances by this person. Fingers on buzzers on this one, I think. For three points, born in 1950, by the age of 15, he started two ventures. Ten, Diane Halligan. Richard Branson. It was Richard Branson. I thought that might give it away. I think uh, four of you went in there on that one. Indeed, Richard Branson, yes. Uh, he, two ventures eventually failed. One was growing Christmas trees and the other raising budgerigars. And, uh, of course, he lives, he lives locally. He? Yeah, I was looking it up on Wikipedia earlier on and I knew, because he was from Kidlington, that uh, a question <coughs> on that would come up today, so I'm annoyed I didn't get it. Oh. Uh, in fact, he lives apparently 400 yards that way, so if you just look to look... Can you see? Just over there. Over there. Well done indeed, Diane. Question number 10. Who? For six points, at the February 1974 general election, stood as a Conservative candidate in Abertillery. For five points, at the 1979 general election, as parliamentary candidate in the Bradford North area, where, in a selection speech and an election flyer, he advocated coloured repatriation. Four, on the 4th of June, 1983, fingers on buzzers, he married Mary Christine Holman. For three points, five days later, 
was finally elected to Parliament at the 1983 general election as the MP for the Tatton. Five, Darren Martin. Neil Hamilton. It was Neil Hamilton. Number 11. Which year, for six points, five squared squared plus six squared squared? For five points, Southwark Bridge in London is opened for traffic by King George V and Queen Mary. These are really creepy, aren't they? Because you get the area and you go either way. For four points, or to lose four points, Peter Ustinov, Prince Philip and Stan Lee, as of Marvel Comics, are all born. Ten, Diane Halligan. 1921. Brilliant answer. Absolutely superb. Well done indeed. That's very good It had to be indeed. a six and a five added together. What gave it away? It had to be a six and a five added together. It had to end in one. And then you'd got the Queen Mary and George, so you'd got the window there. And then I knew he was sort of 80, so it had to be 1921. Well worked out. Brilliantly worked out. Absolutely superb. For four points. Well, hard earned. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> Number 12. Last question in the round. An example of what? For six points, was found at Seton Keru near Hartlepool Teesside in March 2002. Six, Kevin Ashman. A canoe. Correct! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to explain it very quickly? Uh, John Darwin's canoe, from which he went missing. Very much a current story. Indeed, it's the current story. Mm. Well, now, that was mm. thrilling. Really thrilling. But sadly, it also means that we're going to lose four of our remaining contestants. Peter. Thank you, Jeremy. Well, those last two questions brought safety for Diane and uh, Kevin, for, for sure. But unfortunately, we have to lose great finalists in Peter Edis, Rob Hanna, Darren Martin, and Judith Searle. Oh. <laughs> 